Uh, yeah, again, good morning, um, everyone. Welcome to the COCOS training today. My name is Helen He, and I'm, I'm in the user engagement group, and I'm the NERSC training lead. And uh, Roho and I uh, organized the this training with the COCOS team, and also the Oak Ridge and Argon training team um, for this um, the training as part of the portability um, performance performance portability series. Uh, so thanks everyone um, for lots of work behind the curtain. Uh, Cocos is C++ based programming model for writing uh, performance portability applications. So I want to show you this list of these uh, performance portability series. Lots of them with the links uh, already training has been offered that you can go back and check the slides and <laughs> check slides and also video recordings. Uh, Cocos this week, and we are also starting another OpenMP training series soon with SQL and HPX um, being uh, under planning with uh, dates having been decided. So, link. Uh, so I would like, like to let you know a few upcoming trainings. Uh, this uh, next Monday, this Cocos release briefing um, then um, Argon has this AI test by training workshops. There's a four sessions. There's two more still you can uh, re register by May 1st. The OpenMP training series starting um, a little over 10, about 10 days. Um, it's a monthly training has um, seven sessions planned that uh, started from the very beginning of intro uh, and OpenMP basics towards advanced. Uh, and property management. tasking and then GPU offload. Then also a total view debugging training uh, on May 13th. Then uh, NERSC is uh, hosting a GPU hackathon. That's a four day intensive uh, hackathon session that uh, you bring your application teams and we were having mentors from NVIDIA and um, also uh, staff from NERSC and Oak Ridge, et cetera and have access to multiple um, GPU environment. So look at, look that up and registration, application deadline is May 8th. So logistics, um, everyone is muted. Uh, if not, uh, co-host can help me to mute them. Um, then uh, we would like to collect your name. So please change your name to first name and last name and your username. Um, so uh, we when we have the Zoom log, we know who you are. And there's a CC button. Actually, um, I haven't turned it on. I <laughs> turn it on right now. Um, okay, I'll do it later. So you can um, toggle captions on and off, and and view uh, full transcript. You can also view transcript and 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 actually save it. We'll upload slides soon after the presentations. And recording will be available in a few days. Uh, we need to do some post-processing. Then um, I posted uh, in the chat, the Google Doc for Q&A, it's better than um, Zoom chat. So that's so Google Doc can be saved um, after the event. We will have a um, survey for you. Please help us to answer the questions to improve um, the trainings. And there's a Slack channel and after the training, you can ask, continue to ask questions. I'll have the information in the, in the next slide, a, a couple of slides later. Here's a brief agenda. Um, we will actually have uh, two sessions, new, new user session and advanced user session. New, user, new users will be staying in this main Zoom room and advanced users will go out to the breakout room. So you see the topics uh, listed here and <clears throat> So there will be um, hand presentations and, and hands-on for each topic and a break um, accordingly. So check this out and choose uh, in each, either room um, you see fit. Um, similarly, for day two, have new user session and advanced user sessions. Um, you are having opportunities to use your, um, your own application. We have uh, um, experts helping you, or you can use the prepared um, hands-on exercises. And there will still be um, presentations uh, for day two. Here, uh, this slide lists a few of the Cocos materials. There's a primary GitHub repo, the documentation, and a set of lecture series, presentations, uh, radio recordings, and hands-on exercises. And the Slack channel is listed here. 
um, that you can join the DOE portability channel. Um, some of the slides and hands-on exercise are taken from these um, sets of materials. For access to parameter and COCOS module, so everyone, um, if you're a NERSC user, you are already added to the NERSC 9 project. Uh, if not, you have gotten an email to um, tell you how to apply for training account and training account of values through May 2nd. So the reason for these, everybody's in the same project is for our computer reservation. So Logging, if you don't, if I'm familiar with uh, Perimeter, you SSH your username at perimeter.nurse.gov. A training user only need to just type in your password. Nurse users, you know, you have to do MFA um, plus your password. And we have a COCOS module. You, you, in order to use that, you have to say module use and the, the directory of the module file. And then for CPU module, you load a COCOS CPU version and a GPU module, load a GPU version. The, the following docs.nurse.gov uh, jobs has lots of good um, examples of running jobs on Perimeter. There's an intact batch and also um, the batch queue system with S batch. This, uh, this is the computer node I was talking about. So we have a reservation for tomorrow. There's no reservation today. So when you use the reservation, you have to use dash capital A account nurse train nine and with the reservation name. Um, you have two ways to use it. To, you can use just only one GPU on the node. So share with other people. So you will say how many and one node uh, GPU and asking for 32 cores, CPU cores and one GPU and put dash Q shared. So that those are shared. And if you need an exclusive node, um, just use dash Q regular, similarly with account and the reservation. Then outside the reservation like today and um, any other time during the week, um, so similarly, you can put dash capital A project. If you have a nurse account, a project, use your nurse project. If not, uh, use the N train line. And similarly with Q shared as well. But uh, without reservation, you will use dash Q regular. Then you get to the regular Q. Um, if you want to use, um, uh, you can use interactive uh, for fast turnaround. And interactive is only down as alloc for interactive batch an interactive session. Mm -hmm. This is my last slide. <laughs> okay. So this is my um, basic welcome. I wanna thank all the other present presenters and, and uh, mentors for this session. So I will stop share and turn on captions. Then uh, Rahul is gonna take over to introduce um, uh, actually the breakout rooms. I have, I have, uh, told you about breakout rooms. So I've created create the breakout rooms. And um, Rahu, you want to say something before people choose their breakout rooms? Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Thanks, Helen. Um, yeah, I just wanted to say that during the registration, we had asked each of you, like, you know, what is your familiarity with Cocos? And we had like a wide range of um, uh, responses for that. And it seemed like uh, people, their attendees with like, you know, who are new users and who are like expert users and it didn't seem right to have just one training for each of you. So if you think that I just give you a brief summary of what we want to cover in the new user and the advanced user training, so you can select what you want to do. At least for the first day, uh, the new user training is specifically directed towards people who, who have probably only heard about Cocos and don't know anything about it like don't know its basic concepts, uh, what are we trying to do and things like that. For advanced users, uh, it's more, um, uh, if, if you have already used some amount of Cocos, like, you know, done at least simple parallel, 1D parallelism kind of thing, then you can go to the advanced users where uh, uh, Daniel and others would, would start the lectures from hierarchical parallelism and about scratch memory and other uh, advanced concepts. So it's up to you guys where you want to uh, attend the training. Uh, as Helen said, the if you want the advanced training, just go to 